Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Today marks a key milestone for America's patients and for the <coughs> drug supply chain stakeholders, I believe. Many in this room, on this dais and in the crowd, believed this couldn't be done. And gosh knows Michael and I heard enough of it uh, for the past years. And for years, the committees worked on legislation to ensure the security of our supply chain. Last year, we enacted an upstream supply chain provisions. And today, we're advancing the Drug Supply Chain uh, Security Act downstream. Uh, provisions that will strengthen and improve our nation's drug supply chain. I want to thank the chairman, the ranking member, and I want to thank uh, Senator Enzi because he sat in Senator Alexander's seat uh, as, as we worked through things last year. And Senator Alexander, Senator Enzi uh, made promises that, uh, and uh, Senator Harkin, Senator Enzi, that Senator Alexander has stepped in and, and uh, upheld uh, uh, with great passion. But uh, Senator Harkin could have uh, chosen to go a different route because I think he knew how tough this was. He didn't. And for that, uh, Senator Bennett and I are grateful uh, to the leadership of the committee. In particular, I, I want to thank Michael Bennett because he had every reason to think that I was crazy and to think that this was too big a risk, uh, to believe that you couldn't take a population as large as those affected by the drug uh, security chain and, and uh, manage our way through what looked at many times to be a minefield. But uh, he has been a steadfast partner, and for that I'm grateful, and I think uh, we will find other tough things to do together, uh, I'm certain. The FDA has repeatedly warned of counterfeit drugs making their way into our supply chain, including <coughs> cancer medicines. America's patients deserve the peace of mind that medications they take are safe, and effective, especially when they're fighting for their lives. States have responded by putting new requirements in place, but the increasing patchwork of regulatory re uh, requirements is driving up the, the cost at a time that we need to be driving down the cost of health care. In addition to these, these increasing costs, the absence of a uniform federal approach means criminals can take advantage of the states with the lowest security requirements. The Drug Supply Chain Security Act will strengthen our nation's drug supply chain by increasing accountability across the chain from manufacturers all the way to dispensers. The bill requires trading partners to be authorized and to pass, the re to pass and receive information as part of their transactions, raise the wholesale distributors' licensing requirements, establish licensure requirements for third-party logistics providers, and requires suspect and illegitimate products to be appropriately handled. That probably gives you the greatest uh, indication of the scope of what this bill will do. This bill establishes a workable pathway to a unit level product tracing while ensuring that the unique considerations of small business, particularly small business dispensers, are taken into consideration. Pilot projects and public meetings will ensure that the FDA is a partner with stakeholders in standing up a workable approach to interoperable electronic unit level product tracing. This uniform federal approach provides stakeholders with critical regulatory certainty and patients with renewed confidence in the safety and the security of our nation's drug supply chain. I also want to acknowledge and thank Senator Roberts for his leadership on the compounding bill. Um, this is a fight he has led for many years. Um, as a matter of fact, I think, Pat, you used to have hair when you started this. <laughs> That's a scary picture. <laughs> We've worked together on compounding uh, issues for years, and I'm pleased that the committee has been able to find a bipartisan path forward on the issue in response to the tragic events of the past year. Mr. Chairman, I look forward to both of these bills becoming law. Thank you for your leadership. I yield.